Welcome to the final day of MPE's coverage of the European Hematology Association Annual Conference. We start with Dr. Sarah Kaila, who gave a presentation focusing on the outcomes of French patients with relapsed refractory myeloma following early progression after idosol therapy. Idosol is a BCMA targeting CAR T cell therapy that previously showed high efficacy, but many patients eventually relapse even after subsequent treatments with biospecific antibodies. This emphasizes the need for better prognostic factors to understand who will respond to idosol therapy and suggests that potential benefit of bispecific antibodies after idosol, particularly targeting other antigens than BCMA like GPRC5D for early relapses. The initial results from the Phase 1 and 2 Kama 2 study were presented by Dr. Shaki Kumar this morning. The study evaluated the efficacy and safety of sevastimab in relapse and refractory myeloma patients who are triple class refractory and have previously received BCMA targeted therapies. We interviewed Dr. Kumar about this study and you can watch the video on MPE's YouTube channel. The randomized phase 3 DREAM 7 study was also presented today by Dr. Maria Victoria Mateos. The study highlights significant improvement in progression-free survival with belantamab, mafodotin combined with bortezomib and dexamethasone, extending median progression-free survival rate by 23 months compared to the standard of care, which is daratumumab, bortezomib, and dexamethasone, in patients who have received at least one prior line of therapy. The DREAM-8 study was also presented today by Dr. Dimopoulos. The study tested if the combination of belantamab mafodotine, pomalidomid, and dexamethasone, known as BPD, worked better than a standard of care combination treatment with bortezomib, pomalidomid, and dexamethasone, known as PVD. BPD demonstrated superior efficacy in this study. You can watch the video interview of Dr. Dimopoulos available on MPE's YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us this weekend and following our coverage from the 2024 European Hematology Association Annual Conference.